Hey guys, we start off this video just by showing you Bojack Horseman and his outline. Feel me? Um, what I really like about this show is that they're not afraid to have changes. For example, you know Family Guy, they wear the same thing over in every episode. Of course 1 and 2 they change it, but Bojack you, Horseman you really see the effort and them trying to change the outfits which I could really appreciate because it takes a lot of time to do that season 5 of Bojack Horseman was hot like it was a really good season for me to watch I really liked the episode with his mom and all his internal conflict that he went through I find it very interesting that he really despised his mom, but at the end he decided to open her casket. Um, that shows some growth in Bojack as a person. I believe that he has some good in him. Like Diane said in the show, no one's really bad or, or good, you know. is your path and your choices that determines what other people think about you. Speaking of Diane, like... This season, I really had some issues with her. I felt like there was an episode where the premiere of the show was finally out. Throughout the whole season, she was fine with the show. But last minute, she wanted to change her mind. And when she changed her mind, she went against Bojack, telling him the show was bad or whatever. But here's the thing. like The show could be bad... But how can you just like switch your mind that quick and expect everybody to be on board? I get what she was trying to say, but I think she definitely changed Bojack for the worse. Because after that, he turned horrible, had a downward spiral, even choked his girlfriend. I believe that he was on a, a good path. I don't know. Diane, she just rubbed me the wrong way with that. But I, I do believe she has his... Uh, good intentions at heart okay in this section of the video I'm just layering the mountains in the back I'm putting different shades of green so I could add some dimension to the background but back to season 5 I believe of Bojack Horseman like I love how emotional it got me. The episode where his mom died really hit hard. Like it just showed how much hurt that Bojack had and how much his mom's negative ways really impacted him. That stuff was deep. It got me reflecting about my family and how I was treated as a child. And I guess that was kind of the point of the show writers. That was the intentions of the show writers, to like, let you feel, because it was so sad. She hurt Bojack so much, but in the end, he ended up opening her casket. But you could still tell that her death impacted him, even though she was so mean to him throughout her life. Even his dad... In previous episodes, you see how horrible he is, and like his like models in life. It's just he had a bad upbringing, and that really round Bojack to who he is. I guess that's the theme of this season. Um, seeing if people could really change, if Bojack could really change, or if he changed throughout the season which you can see that I guess he didn't really change in the end he is who he is because he ended up choking out his girlfriend which is sad because like I like them I like seeing Bojack and that girl together they were pretty cool I like her vibe she was like really strong minded I appreciate that in a woman hey guys, hey guys. it is day two of me painting Bojack Horseman.
I just look so focused in this clip. I just had to point that out. Super focused on his hair. In this part of the video, you definitely see this painting coming together. Like Diane is done. The lights are done. You see that deep, dark black floor. The mountains in the back, the stars. Everything is really coming along. And as I was doing this, I was getting real happy and hyped. <laughs> Another thing that was really interesting about this season was definitely Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter having a divorce. Like, I seen where it came from, but they didn't. I like how they didn't document all the bad things leading up. It just feels like real life. Like, sometimes divorces happen and you feel like you don't even know what went wrong they did they know they weren't a hundred percent compatible but who is like you know everybody argues everybody has things that um makes them not ideal but people work through it and sometimes you just can't and they couldn't i find it real interesting how mr peanut butter he still loved her after the divorce and he wanted to get back together in that one episode while he was with the waitress um, girl. But she was like, no, things are done. Sorry, you can't go back. She said something really impactful. She said, we're the one that made the mistake or something like that. Things with the other girl wasn't a mistake. This was a mistake because we're divorced. And you really see Mr. Peanut Butter getting serious for once. Like, he's really getting serious. All throughout the series, he was really jokey and happy. And he still is happy. But you could tell he has emotions. And he gets sad about things sometimes. He just don't like to address those feelings, you know? But yeah, I really loved how they put that in the show. Another thing I found really interesting is Mr. Peanut Butter and his new girlfriend's relationship. And how each relationship he has, they act like each other. I feel like that's so reminiscent of real life. Because a lot of people have a preference without even knowing it like each person that they date are so much like their other exes but sometimes you don't even realize it and sometimes it's a conscious deci decision I th thought it was real interesting that they put that in side note am I the only one that literally I watch BoJack Horseman but I usually watch it a lot as background music like I could be sleeping always have it on it's just really meditating to watch it you know they have really relaxing music in the beginning it's calming I think that's why I never like thought about it but yeah it's very common to have as background music and lastly a cool thing that I liked about season 5 was the episode with the two therapists and they change around all the characters to look different. I found that really cool. Their goal was to hide the identities of the characters, but in the end, both of them, both of the ladies found out who everybody was. So it was kind of pointless, but the effort that the creators put to do that was awesome because it probably was a lot of work looking at it. We're coming to the end of this video, finishing off his jacket. Hope you guys really like this painting, and I'm going to show an ending clip. Hope you enjoyed the video. My guy Bojack Horseman is done being painted. It took a very long time. Look at the details, guys. It's over. It's over. Bojack. <laughs> Peace out.